People used to think that the most dangerous game to hunt was man. We have recently realized though that's not true. The most dangerous game to hunt is for a Netflix original movie that's good. Let's talk about Red Notice. The trailer promises three big name stars are gonna get together and compete for some artifacts or, or something, I don't know. I just remember Dwayne Johnson, Ryan Reynolds, and Gal Gadot were all over the promotional materials for this. They were the focus of this movie. And oftentimes I find, especially with Netflix, they're kind of misleading when it comes to their talent. They'll put them on the posters, they'll put them on these teaser images, but they'll only be in the movie for like five minutes. Thankfully not the case here. All three actors play a prominent role in this, and they work very well with each other. The big standout for me was the always stunning, always sexy, beyond all compare, Ryan Reynolds. Really playing up the jokes, really having a good time. No, seriously, Gal Gadot's really good in this. Although, to criticize, I'm still not sure she's a great actress. I think she's great in very specific instances, but sometimes when she's reading off her lines of dialogue here, it feels like she's reading off her lines of dialogue here. Maybe the accent's throwing me, or maybe it's helping her cause. I don't know. It's just once in a while not working for me. She's always working though, uh, visually speaking. I mean, what a, what a feast for the eyes. Since Dwayne Johnson is in approximately 365 movies a year, he's done this formula many, many times. And at this point, I'm convinced he has a stipulation in his contract that he has to film in a jungle setting at some point. Since he's been in so many movies, I've seen his shtick before where he doesn't work well with others. He has a partner that he can't stand. What movie was it recently that this just happened? Oh yeah, Hobbs and Shaw. This is basically Hobbs and Shaw, but it's more self-aware. Red Notice is a really tricky movie to talk about because the praises I wanna give it can also be spoilers. So I'm gonna be very vague, but I will just say this. As I watched this movie, I kept just checking off all the boxes of cliches I've seen in action movies over the years. And I've seen a dumb amount of action movies. That's like my bread and butter. So I've seen all of this shtick before. The good news for Red Notice is the writer and director know this. They too are familiar with the formula. And as the movie progresses, the formula gets kind of broken down. They kind of flip things on their head. That's as vague as I can get. So you too may have started watching this movie like I did and thought to yourself, why am I doing this? This is so lame. I've seen all of these tropes a million times. You might start rolling your eyes. You might give heavy sighs if you're by yourself watching like I was. Just sad, alone, miserable. And then you'll hit a point in the movie and you'll go, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of fun what they did. At least that's what happened for me. You may have shut it off before you got to that point. In which case, I recommend finishing it. It's not an overly long film. It's got plenty of action. Some of it's really bad. Some of it has some incredibly embarrassing CG work going on. The green screen stuff, oh my god, what is happening in this film? There are points early on where I thought, wow, this is a really slick, highly produced picture. And then as we get to the middle part, specifically there's a sequence that takes place in a bullfighting ring. Wow, uh, we, we just had an afternoon, I guess, with the guys on set. We had a green screen and that was about it. Really bad. And then not much later, there's a, a car chase scene in a tunnel or a, a cave of sorts. Very Indiana Jones-ish, complete with the horrid green screen work going on. At least Indiana Jones has an excuse. It's pulpy, it's supposed to be a little tongue in cheek. And also, you know, it came out like 30 years ago at this point. This movie doesn't have that excuse. I think they just ran out of budget. It looks bad. The basic plot is very simple. There's three MacGuffins in the form of eggs, Cleopatra eggs that have gone missing. They're worth a lot of money. Actually, one of them's not missing. It's, it's at a prominent museum. Uh, unfortunately for the museum, Ryan Reynolds is the best in the business when it comes to stealing these things. Second best, only to Wonder Woman. She comes and goes with little in her way. She She's very good at what she does, arguably, too good. I mean, th this is one of those movies where people just, oh, they're here and they're in this country now and they're there and they all find each other instantly. I want to criticize that stuff, but then the movie acknowledges it, so it's weird. You're watching a film where the majority of the picture is, I've seen this, I know it's going to happen, that's not possible, how are they finding each other, but then later it's revealed. 
And so you have to kind of reflect back on the movie and go, oh, that was kind of clever. But in the moments leading up to that, you're not having a great time because it's a been there, done that scenario, but much worse. As an overall adventure movie, it's fine. All the characters have good chemistry, plenty of stuff happening to keep you invested. As for a Netflix movie, this is like an A+, because we've been really scraping the bottom of the barrel lately. Uh, this was a refreshing change of pace. Still not great, but better than what we've had. I personally had a better time with Hobbs and Shaw. I thought the spectacle there was better. I thought the action was great. The chemistry between the two bulky action stars was on point. So I would recommend that over Red Notice if you haven't seen it and you're looking for something dumb and action filled. If you just have Netflix and you're like, I have nothing better to do, this isn't the worst way to spend an afternoon. It's not the best way to spend an afternoon either, but here we are. All right, those are my thoughts on Red Notice. Let me know what you think in the comments. Did you love this film? Did you absolutely hate it? Did you give up on it before the final act like I almost did? Or did you push through and say, oh, that was kind of clever. I didn't see that coming. We'll talk about it a bit in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like the video if you had a little bit of fun here. Maybe you had a lot of fun. I don't know. I don't know you. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care. If you're new here, I suggest sticking around. There's tons of movie-related content on this channel. Lots of reviews, rants. Here's one or two right there. Probably just one. And then a, a picture of me that you can subscribe to. So check those out. All you have to do is push or click on that video. It'll start right up. That's the power of technology today. And the face, as for that, well, again, you can subscribe here. That, that's, that's paramount to the success of this channel is getting people on board. Okay, I think that's, I think I said enough. I'll leave you to it.